What's going on, y'all? How are you doing? I hope that you've been drinking water and staying hydrated. Just because it's cold outside doesn't mean that we need to give up on hydrating. Welcome to the fourth edition of our Charmed ASMR. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed recording it. So the first spell on the list comes from JD. He requested that I read the spell that the seer used to steal Phoebe's baby. Although there is some debate on whether the baby was Phoebe's or not, but that's not what we're here to talk about tonight. Tonight, I'm here to read this spell it goes a little something like this. Give me strength and give me might to steal a child in still of night. Darkest forces, let it be. Hear my plea. Bring life to me. I, I won't lie. Forgotten how nice that spell sounds. The seer really did have one foot in the bag. <laughs> because that's also the scene where she was like, Come, let the little children play. And it reminds me a lot of Sarah Sanderson, actually. A charmed Hocus Pocus crossover. Maybe. Our next spell was requested by Justin. And it's one of the more iconic spells of the series. It's the one that the charmed ones use to call upon their ancestors. And it goes a little something like this. Prudence. Penelope, Patricia, Melinda, Astrid, Helena, Laura, and Grace. Hello, witches, stand strong beside us. Vanquish this evil from time and space. Although, I like the way that they said it when they vanquished Cole. There wasn't a big difference, but it was just enough for it to be different. Prudence, Penelope, Patricia, Melinda, Astrid, Helena, Laura, and Grace. Halloa, witches, stand strong beside us. Vanquish this evil from time space. It sends chills up my spine every single time I think about it. I love that spell so much. So the next couple of spells are actually ones that I chose because I just love the way they sound. The first one is the enchantment spell that Piper and Phoebe use on the sunglasses so that they can see the source and they can see evil. And it goes a little something like this. Magic forces far and wide. Enchant these so those can hide. Allow this witch to use their end. So she can reveal the evil within. I love that spell so much. I love the way it sounds and the way it flows. I love the way that it just sounds powerful and it sounds like they are forcing evil to come to the forefront so that they can see it. It's one of my favorites. The next spell is the instant karma spell. It's one of the spells that Paige used when she was on her magical rampage after she stole the Book of Shadows. And it goes a little something like this. Let cruelty pain evil 
ways. Follow this villain through all his days. Reverse the torment he creates. To turn on him a crueler fate. Now I'll be honest, that sounds borderline evil. It really almost sounds like borderline personal gain or like a curse. More than just a spell, it sounds like a curse almost, but that's okay because Hallowell magic tends to be a little on the cusp. It tends to straddle. personal gain and if you listen to the show those two things can exist at once our next spell is one that everyone knows it's one of Paige's signature spells it's the vanishing spell and it goes a little something like this let the object of objection become but a dream as I cause the scene to be unseen. It always feels so nice to say that spell and just get it out. Because every time I say it, I think about Paige and Paige is my favorite. So, of course, that spell by extension is going to mean a lot to me. Now, the next spell is one that I really, really love. Season 4 had some pops. And it's another one that Paige uses when she's on her magical rampage. It's the spell to promote compromise. And it goes a little something like this. These words will travel through the minds of stubborn parties and unbind. The thoughts too rigid to be kind. A compromise they'll disentwine. Now, again, it sounds like it's borderline personal magic but or personal gain. But I'm not a Hallowell. I'm not a Warren Witch. So, maybe it's in there to teach a lesson. I'm not 100% sure. I just love the way that it sounds. A compromise they'll disentwine. The final spell is the one that the Enchantress casts to bring the prince to her. And it goes a little something like this. Bring together my prince and me. Let him fall on bended knee. I summon him to my side that he may take me to be his destined bride. Maybe I need to cast that one. <laughs> that spell and when I was little I could never remember it I was just like Paige there was always a part of it that was missing when I would try to say it but just like she learned it so did I thanks to you know different online resources <laughs> so everybody that was our charmed ASMR for season four. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. And to my patrons, please go ahead and put your requests in for season five. I hope that you all have an amazing night, an amazing day, an amazing morning, whenever you're listening to this. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I do want to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Their names are going to be listed on the screen as well as their TikTok handles so that you can go and follow them. I want to thank them for everything they've done because their support is what's helping the channel to grow. Just like everyone that's taken time to subscribe to the Patreon. So I want to thank you so much. And if you would like to join the Patreon, then please feel free to find me at the power of G. You can join the free tier where you 
get updates or you can join the one dollar tier where you get early access to videos as well as shout outs and videos i'll see you